you know, Grumman, uh, Northrop, you know, all, all of those characters, the ones that the Pentagon makes the checks out to like every 30 seconds, they have massive marketing efforts, lobbyists, salespeople that go all over the world, you know, uh, kneecap guys that will rearrange the construction of your legs if you don't buy so much of it from them every three minutes or whatever. Arms dealers, in other words, par excellence, okay? Without, you know, without rival on the planet. Victor Boot, small potatoes if he's an arms dealer, okay? Big danger to the Western world or whatever. Uh, these guys, come on up for dinner. We're Oh, by the way, we're going to sponsor a big party at the Ukrainian embassy. So, you know, there's that aspect to it, too. This really the context for that is that they kind of troll the world looking for Russians that they, I mean, it, if it was the, well, it is the mafia. If it was the formal mafia instead of the actual mafia doing this, um, you know, they would call it kidnapping, you know, and, and then negotiating for ransom because that's what they do. And he, he got caught in that. I mean, look, couldn't, couldn't Russia send police to you know walk around Europe and Asia and wait for one of these characters from uh, Grumman or you know uh, Boeing or whatever to show up while he's peddling missiles, uh, you know bombs, things that are actually being used to kill people all over the world and arrested them and dragged them into court for crimes against humanity using the Nuremberg standard or, or whatever, and have a credible trial publicly, you know, I don't know, there's a class of a few thousand people, I'm sure, that fit into that. A lot of them are on K Street, just, you know, right up and down where the lobbyists hang out and grab a few of them, too, because that's the work they're involved in. And it's on a the Russian military budget, say, last year, certainly the year before, $60, $70 billion dollars. Okay, Japan now has announced that theirs is going to be larger than that this year. Japan, whose constitution prohibits them having a military. Um, the U.S. budget just passed. There's 858, 858 billion on the book. We know they steal two or three times that much. Uh, anyway, because whenever you ask them, where's this money? They say, oh, I don't know. And, and on top of that, they threw another, whatever, 40 billion or whatever the hell it was at Ukraine. In other words, they threw, just as an aside, they threw as much as Russia spends more or less on its military. So in terms of how much action are U.S. arms dealers doing and the peddlers of that compared to whatever Victor Boot could do or has done or even could be imagined to do? And why was he in jail and none of them? Because, by the way, the FBI and well, the FBI knows where they are in the United States, and they know what their activities are. And if those things are crimes, why aren't these characters in prison? 